and welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. In the last episode we didn't do that much progress. Um, we only um, completed the quest with Urban and did some trading. Um, but we're still carrying too much, too much loot as you can plainly see with only 30 points of capacity left. <clears throat> so we should be selling even more stuff. Um, but he is—he doesn't have any, not much more money. Um, so I guess he doesn't get mad that I'm breaking into his place. Um, yeah, but this this weapon dealer is actually not the guy that I was searching for. I was actually searching for an, um, the guy who sells energy weapons, and he's actually not. He's I think he was somewhat hidden. Um, <clears throat> at least from my, that's what I think is the case from my memory. And not not that my memory is hidden, but I mean. Oh, yeah, that's the guy, I think. Who the hell are you and what the fuck are you doing in my place? Uh... Who are you? The name's Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? <laughs> how, sh how should I know if you don't tell me what you are selling? Uh, let's not upset him. I don't think he's the kind of guy who appreciates uh, wise guys. Good to meet you, Vance. What you have to sell? Yeah, you say okay. Here's what I've got. Are you the guy who's... No, that's the guy who's selling all the pills. Uh, how much do you charge for... That's actually very reasonable. Um, we will eventually need these red aways. Let's, how... Let's see how much you charge for them. Wah. Yeah, they are expensive. Okay, but we'll need them. Uh, when we go to the glow, which will happen sooner or later. But at the moment, let's have all this. Um, let's sell some guns. Hmm. The problem is, um, I don't really know which gun to sell. Probably should sell the gun that's more profitable. Mm. <clears throat> I don't think the magnums are very good, but it all depends on um, what the people that you are, um, what your followers are skilled in, can use. Well, actually, um, hmm. Maybe let's actually just wait. Okay. Okay, he seems to be okay. But that's not the guy still that I was looking for. The guy who I am looking for is a dealer of energy weapons. Oh. And I think these are the, ch the children that you have to be... Um be aware of. I think these are the children that steal your inventory items. So let's avoid them. Hmm. You see his gag. And then he didn't he didn't open the door for some reason. A skag that's not very pleased to see us. Um <coughs> sorry. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, as you can hear, I'm still a bit sick. Um, okay. There's a staircase. Oh. Yeah, that leads to... 
Okay, why not just... Hmm. This leads to the um, hideout of the, of the thieves. Let's actually talk to them since we are... Yeah, anyway. Okay. Maybe let's tell them to... Well, I think they can come along. Okay. If memory serves, um, you actually... Sorry. Stay there because... Okay, don't... I hope he doesn't leave. Um, stay and wait here. Okay. The problem is that I think he had traps. Um, uh... Um, can't see the lock there. Okay. Can we lock pick this lock? I mean, can we pick this lock? Yes, we can. But if memory serves, there's also a trap there. So let's check for traps. We don't very skilled in traps, but anyway. We are about to find out, probably. Okay, one of those doors probably contains a trap. I mean, is trapped. No. Do we say that is? Well, one of them. Yeah, contains a trap. I don't know. I don't think you would say that. Say that this. Anyway, let us. Go for the left door and hope nothing is locked. Okay, anyway, let us then lock pick this lock. I mean, pick this lock. We are unable to pick the lock. Um, sometimes locks can also break. So. I think we, sh we shall actually not, shall leave it, um, we shall leave this place now because um, if, we break, if we break one of these locks, we actually have no, there's no way to get in there. Um, but I, s I assume that we can still concentrate on one lock. Okay, let's concentrate on the right lock. And we unlock the door. Ah, there was the trap. Is this door locked? Yes, it is locked. Then let us pick this lock. And hello. Say hello to the thieves. What do you want? <laughs> Hi! Um, tell me actually about this. Mm, tell me about the circle. If you're lucky, you'll consider yourself one of us by the end of the day. At home, part of the furniture, you know. Tell me about Decker. You don't discuss Mr. Decker in polite company. Hi, hi yourself. Hmm. Okay, is this guy more? Um. Okay. Okay, the thief circle is not very pleased that we are here. Apparently. Hmm. Maybe we should talk to this guy then. The leader. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. Get out of my face. Ugh. Oh my god. That was unexpected. Okay, I'm Mr. Man. <laughs> you talk like an idiot. No. 
Hi, Mr. Man. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Well, um... Do we want to join the circle? Hmm, maybe. Oh, how nice! A joiner! Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. But if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. Hmm. What's that? Quite simple, really. You prove yourself as a thief. Succeed, and the world is yours. If not, then you'll never see us again. Except if you come looking. And if you don't understand, that last bit is a threat. <laughs> Okay, um... <laughs> Do you mean you'll move... Do you mean that you'll move this whole place if I fail? Or try to kill me? No, actually... Let's ask him about the test. It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? Uh... I'm ready, I guess. That's the spirit, mate! Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. Okay, we have gained 900 points in experience for doing that. Um, let's do this bookcase. Okay, there's nothing in it. Let us not talk to Jas Jasmine right now. Um, I hope this, this quest doesn't go away because we have something else to do. We certainly have something. Yeah, um, so we'll have to remember that we need to talk to Jasmine here. But we will actually now go um, to Junktown, I think, and get this other guy as a boss. Assholes. And get this other guy as a follower. Uh, hello, Ian. Yeah, let's stick together. I like the fact that Ian just doesn't mind. Um, if you tell him... Yeah. To go away and then we will... A few moments... A few moments... A few moments later we hire him and again he's like... Oh yeah, why not? Okay, but we are still... Looking for the experimental weapon dealer. And there's these goddamn annoying kids. I don't want to meet. Okay, that's slappy. Yeah, that's slappy. Hmm. Okay, where's this weapon weapon dealer? Are you blocking my path? You did. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, actually the time's up, but um, so we didn't make that much progress. I actually um, think that we want... Okay, where are we? That's the first question. We are there. Okay. Um, Let's stay away from these children. Yeah. God damn it. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. <sighs> and I didn't save, did I? Where did I, did I save? I didn't save, okay. So when we come back, folks, we, we will again be 
at the exact same spot as in the beginning of this episode. So until next time folks, until then.